Hi, Dr. Ramsey Shokeri, board certified plastic surgeon here in Dallas, Texas, bringing you another educational video in our practice to educate you about some of the things we do. Today we're talking about what the lay public terms a mommy makeover. Not necessarily a term that many of us use, but nevertheless the term that's out there. And it usually means uh, Im improving the changes that can occur from being a mommy or having children, whether it be usually something with regard to changes in the breast or in the abdominal area or tummy area. So it can include as much as just a breast augmentation. It can mean a breast lift. It can mean a breast reduction. So it can mean several things depending on the anatomy and the individual. When it comes to the abdomen, it could mean as little as liposuction. It could mean a mini tummy tuck or it could mean a full tummy tuck where we tighten the muscles that have been maybe loosened. So depending on the combination of procedures that an individual might need determines whether we would do those procedures together. So just because someone may need a mommy makeover doesn't necessarily mean it's the right thing to do all at once. In some cases it is. So in the event we're doing a tummy tuck and a breast lift, as an example, we would have the patient come to our office the morning of surgery, as most all the patients that we do are typically done in our office based on their health. We have an accredited operating room in our Dallas office, and we only use board certified physician anesthesiologists. So the morning of surgery would come to our office having had nothing to eat or drink after midnight, and we usually start in the morning for any surgery like this. We would then visit with you and specifically mark whether we're doing a breast augmentation or a breast lift, where the incisions would be. I mark those with you in front of a mirror. And we would mark your abdominal area and discuss the expectations there one more time, even though you've heard it before. Then we would make sure you're well hydrated with IV fluid. We'd walk you next door to our operating room. We would apply the monitors on the operating room. And then with myself and the nurses and the anesthesiologist talking to you, we would, they would drift you off to a light sleep and be monitoring you while we do the surgery. The next thing you know, you're waking up in the recovery room and hopefully seeing faces you've seen before because the nurses who work in our office also are the recovery room nurses who are accomplished RNs. We wake you up, make sure you're comfortable, make sure your vital signs are okay. And then in most all cases, when we combine procedures, we would then keep you overnight in our overnight room. Our overnight room is in our office. It's in a medical building, and I live just a few minutes from the office, and the nurse who's taking care of you is taking care of you one-on-one, -on -one, making sure you're up walking, making sure the, the me mechanisms to reduce a blood clot after a tummy tuck or something are used, and making sure you're comfortable, and your loved ones don't have to worry about managing your medications the first night of surgery, which is usually the most difficult. And then the next morning, I come see you with the nurses, make sure everything looks good, and we prepare you to go home, and we check with you daily. So I hope that's a reasonable way to let you know what a mommy makeover is in our office. 